on today's episode, we are talking all about trophy wife training. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Laura Rhodes trying to train women to be trophy wives. Yeah, bro. Um, I can't believe I'm late to the party on this video, bro. This is there is literally a video on YouTube from Lana Rose. Did she change her name? Anyway, Lana, Laura, whatever. Same girl that we know. <laughs> uh, she has a video called Trophy Wife Training Dash Three Girls One Kitchen Dog. Do you see the little sexual innuendo in the title of the video? Not only is she out here tweaking, trying to goddamn show girls, I don't know what is about to take place specifically with Trophy Wife Training, but the damn video, it's an oxymoron. Lana, Lana, La, whatever, Lana Rhodes, Laura Rhodes, and Trophy Wife Training being in the same sentence is an oxymoron. It doesn't go together. But not only does that not go together, the video was three girls, one kitchen. What does that play off of? Or what is that a play off of? Three girls, one kitchen, two girls, one cup. She can't get away from the nasty if she tries. She did that intentional to get views on her. She still got them promoting this porn star-ish, especially with the name Lana Rose. She know what the hell she's doing. But anyway... Anyway, anyway, like I'm sorry, like if you're really trying to get away from the uh, the 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 the, the point, there's no way to get around it. There's no there's no way from getting from. It. That's the whole point about this not going together. Lana, Laura, whatever the you going by in trophy wife training, there's no way you can get away with the damage you did to your reputation. But um, she don't want to get away from it. Is my point. Three girls, one kitchen. Two girls, one cup. But anyway, uh, I want to see what is going on with this video. All right, <sighs> let's go. It was a black and white picture and she said you want to be a full picture by yourself you should already be a full picture and then she held up another picture and it was the same picture but it was colored in she says you need to be the full picture by yourself and once you complete that picture you will find someone who will bring color to it Welcome back to Three Girls, One Kitchen. On today's episode, we are talking all about trophy wife training. Now, make sure that you stay tuned because I promise this episode isn't going to be as misogynistic as it sounds. Okay, so as you guys know, I probably bring this up in almost every episode. I'm super into Tumblr. I'm always on Tumblr. And there is a huge community on there of hypergamous women. Basically, if you're not familiar with the term hypergamy, it means marrying into or having a sexual relationship with someone of a higher sociological status or education, which is basically also like gold diggers would mm -hmm. be is a typical stereotype of a trophy wife. Mm -hmm. So that's basically hypergamy. Okay. And so on Tumblr, it's like a huge community that's actually- She, she f that all, damn, stop cussing. She messed that all the way up, didn't she? Hypergamy is the natural course of things biologically embedded into women. Women want men at their level or higher <laughs> for her to use gold digger as that's a derogatory term for women who, who solely seek the financial benefit of being with a man and nothing else. But women naturally seek hypergamous relationships with men because of the stability, provision, and safety that a man can provide. They don't want to feel like the man in a relationship. They want the man to be the man in a relationship. It just naturally comes with the territory. You know what I'm saying? In the, in the perfect world, that's how all women would want their man. But all women ain't gold diggers. She missed the definition of that all the way up. And so on Tumblr, it's like a huge community. That's actually where I got the idea for today's topic of trophy wife training. However, this episode, we're not going to uh, preach to you guys about how to be the perfect woman mm -hmm. for a man. This episode's more about how to become That's crazy. A That's crazy to hear her even say that. We're not going to preach. I don't know these other two girls, right? But <laughs> Lada, Laura, whatever the fuck your name is, for her to say that, we're not going to preach to you guys about how to be the perfect woman for a man. Look at the messenger, though. <laughs> That's crazy. 
That's crazy. Coming to hear that coming from, from her lips. Those lips. How to be the perfect woman for the for the perfect man. Come on, man. Come on, man. That shit looks crazy. <laughs> because that ship, that ship has sailed for her. Right? That ship has sailed. Right? She would never, 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 never be able to find the perfect man. Even someone somewhat close to it, bro. She's fucked because of what she did to her image, man. Right? A hypergamy don't apply to her. She would have to find somebody. She would have to be, she going to end up being with somebody that work at goddamn Cracker Barrel or something. Yeah, you know I mean? Ah, that, that puts me in the mind. That makes me think of who the fuck is the baby's father. Who is the baby's father? That should speak volumes if Buddy does not even want to claim her. He knocked it off, naked head bandit style, shot the club up, right? But at least the baby's going to be well taken care of because, you know, Laura, she's sitting pretty on some goddamn coin, right? But damn, that's, that looks crazy. We're not going to sit here and preach to you guys. No, you don't have the, you don't have a leg to stand on when it comes to preaching to women how to be the perfect woman for a man. Like she, it's fucked. It's, it is fucked. It's fucked. It's literally fucked. Unless she find one of these weirdos out here that, you know, is okay with claiming that. You got to be a weirdo to claim that. Especially like if, if you out here on your, you got money, you got resources, you got, you got options. Put it like that. You got options. And you claim that you're you're a weirdo. You're a weirdo, bro. So no matter what she does, now how, no matter how perfect she lives her life from here on, it does not matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. It don't matter. It don't matter, bro. So to hear that, for once again, to hear that, it's crazy. We're not gonna preach to you guys. No, shut up. <laughs> more well-rounded woman for yourself mm -hmm. yeah and that will obviously draw in a high value man and I <laughs> <laughs> uh bro it sounds like she's just like reiterating or regurgitating shit she's seen on youtube already man because you definitely ain't practicing what you preach <laughs> You can't. It's impossible for you to practice what you preach. That don't apply to you. It doesn't apply to you. What it also sounds like is women in denial, right? In denial about, first of all, what a high value woman is, or what a trophy wife is, all this. They, they're trying to like minimize or re redefine what that is and just apply it to themselves. Sound like I'm, I'm not going to be a trophy wife or a high value woman for the men. I'm doing it for me. No, boo boo. That's not how it goes. Right, you can be as confident in yourself as you want to be, but that's to yourself. Trophy wife and high value women, men place value on those. You have to make yourself look. The men have to value what it is that you are trying. Men have to value that, right? It doesn't matter what the fuck you think is important, how well rounded you think you are, right? It all, and when it comes to like find a significant other, someone to pursue you, they have to find you valuable. Right. What you find valuable in yourself and what men find valuable about you often are two entirely different worlds of things. You know what I'm saying? All it sounds like. So it just makes me think that. So all this is, is Laura's whatever the hell her name is. It sounds like she's in denial. You know what I mean? And knowing that she ain't going to find no man to find her valuable so as long as she feels like she's valuable she can get some some type of fulfillment in that you know what i mean i don't do it for them i do it for me and hopefully the right man will find me because of what i've been able to do to myself nah boo boo it don't work that way it does not work that way right <laughs> supply and demand sales when you're selling a product you need to make the product look appealing to the purchasers you don't make the product look good to the seller. <laughs> you make the product look good to the purchasers. I think that's the 2021 definition. I think that's like the rebranded trophy wife is that it's not just about looking good. You know, like if you want to have hairy legs and hairy armpits, you go girl. Like you do that. If that makes you confident and you get a man like that, like that's, I support that. You know, we, I feel like we just support everything and it's about mm -hmm. how you feel and woman empowerment um, you know, like yeah, not necessarily who, who, who being a trophy wife hoes, requires you to always look attractive. Some men think that, you know, brains is a turn on for them. So it's what they value in their eyes, what makes you a trophy wife. Or yeah, there you go. It ain't no man out here. Oh, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna generalize. 
there may be two men out of the billion of men that exist that are going to find hairy legs attractive. That sounds like some raging feminist shit, right? You out here embracing your armpit here and your butch-like behaviors and shit, chances are your significant other going to be a whole different set of fallopian tubes. Ain't no man going to find out appealing. It's just like, <laughs> it's, it's give and take, man. It ain't all about you. Right, it's, a man gonna have to accept me for me. That's what's wrong with these motherfuckers, man. That's what's wrong with these women. A man gonna have to accept me for me and all I come with. That's not how this shit works. That's not how this shit works, bruh. But she she is right. She is right with what she just said. It's about what the men value, and men typically, for the majority of men, we all typically value somewhere along the lines of the same things, right? Femininity, fit, attractiveness, you know. Someone fun to be around, not an asshole, know how to cook, you know what I'm saying? Knows how to get down in the bedroom. Yeah, you know I mean, it'd be easy. It's we easy. Yeah, you know I mean, it's just all this extra y'all be sprinkling, all this other seasoning y'all want to sprinkle in the relationship that's come with the modern woman bullshit that y'all just get lost, right? Anyway, for what you value to become a complete woman, I know for me. Well, I have a list of things. So we have basically have an outline for every episode. So for me, a trophy wife is an educated woman, a woman who can talk about many topics, whether it be stocks, philosophy, politics. Um, she also keeps up with her hygiene. She cares a lot about her style. She's very well-rounded in all aspects. So that's sort of what we want to give you guys some ideas about today, not to please mm -hmm. a man, to yeah. become more well-rounded for yourself, and then that man will come around. If you... <sighs> <laughs> um yeah 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 hey have y'all invested in uh cat food and dog food yet you want him i think i think a lot of people are but you don't need a man <laughs> <laughs> now i think a lot of people are used when they hear the word trophy wife they think of how it used to be and it's just like a dumb hot girl that just scores a guy for money and whatnot mm -hmm. so like on this episode we are going to inform you guys <clears throat> that that is not the case anymore Trophy wife to me is just what men find valuable. You know what I mean? Right? But um, her definition of trophy wife is all this well-rounded stocks and bonds and hygiene and this, that, and the third, right? A well-rounded woman, right? Okay. So, this one's for the girls. How to properly ride a guy mm. for the girls. I guess, for a, the girls. I guess a guy could do it too. Yeah, I'm like, girl, what do you mean? It's 2021. <laughs> We're all right? riding now. All right, so <laughs> it's inclusive. It's for everyone. Yeah, it's for everyone. <laughs> All right, so how to ride a guy properly. I don't think there is any non-proper way to do it. However, I will say there's a way that feels better for the guy and there's a way that feels better for the girl. Mm -hmm. So for the girl, it's the grinding motion. For the guy, it's up and down. Mm -hmm. You know, just sliding up and down on that pole. <laughs> but Rest my case. <laughs> the damage is done. You're going to talk about trophy wife and how to be well-rounded for your potential spouse, but at the same time, you're talking about this, for the world to see, which don't matter at this point because you show the world what it looks like. <laughs> we got videos and videos and videos stockpiled in the porn hubs of the world showing how you get down. <laughs> Cat food, dog food. 